Hello everyone, welcome again to another episode of some RuneScape gameplay and um, walkthroughs. Uh, today we are going to be talking about uh, leveling up magic quicker. Um, if you're really big into maging, everyone will know that magic is a bitch to get up. It's, it's, it's horrible. It sucks. Um, my mage level right now, I believe, is 46. Yeah, that's right. 46. I'm trying to get to 55 because, of course, I'm like everybody else and want to get to high alchemy, which is just, once you get to level 55 high alchemy, it's, it's cake from there. If you don't know what high alchemy is, it's pretty much where you take something and you turn it into more money than what it's worth, pretty much, in High Alchemy. Like, you take an object, so, so I would say, like, this Air Battle Staff is worth about 8k, right here, alright? In High Alchemy, I would turn it into gold, which it'd be, it'd turn it into about 12k. So, you can make about, yeah, 50k to 100k more each time you do something like that. Um, it's great to make money. If you don't want to just do other stupid stuff, which is stupid stuff, yeah. Okay. What I was saying, I'll get off track very easily. A very good way to get your magic up. And this, everybody's been asking, like, oh, how to get your magic up? Um, it takes forever. I'm tired of, you know. Some people might say, go kill the lesser demon, um, which is behind the cage in the wizard's tower outside of Lumbridge and Drainer Village and uh, you can do that but you have to keep coming back and getting more runes which is a pain um, to just keep doing that and I mean it's not really a pain getting the runes it's just a pain having to go so far even with the lodestone update um, so yeah a really easy way alright what you'll need is okay um, if you're a lower level, what you'll be doing is we're going to go kill hill giants. Alright? Hill giants have... Um, let me check. Hill giants... Okay, one second. I'm checking here. On this thing. Okay, I'm probably going to cut out a, a little part of this video. Because I have to search... I have a thing on my phone where I'm searching for uh, NPCs. I should have freaking looked these things up more. All right, so all right. What I was saying, okay. Get what you want. What you'll want to do is either you can use a battle staff uh, or anything like that, or a regular staff, depending on your magic level. I'm using a wand because I just think they look awesome. Um, wands are members items only. Um, they cost about eight and a half K, so they're pretty cool. Um, as you can see from my last episode, I still have my fungal armor on. I am waiting. I don't really know where to go yet, but I'm trying to uh, get void armor for mages. Um, I heard that's by Port Serum somewhere, but whatever I'll just figure that out later alright so what you'll want to have is a lot of ruins mainly the ruins that you need to have your best spell on uh, my best spell right now is wind blast um, I almost have water blast unlocked but okay wind blast uh, medium level air missile three air ruins and one death rune um, death runes are freaking expensive really horribly expensive for some reason it sucks but that is the price you have to pay for being a mage um alright so what you'll need is the ruins for your best spell and you'll need either whatever kind of uh if you don't want to buy a wand and you're not a member I'm not sure if you have to be a member to go kill hill giants I don't think you have to be I'm pretty sure you don't have to be but what you'll need is Hill Giants are level 28. Um, they're huge as f 
hell. All right, that their name kind of. My phone's just being stupid. Okay. Hill Giants are level 28. They have around, I would say, 300 some odd hit points or health points. Uh, so if you're below level 28 or a little bit above level 28 because they can really back themselves up, um, bring in a little bit of food. I won't be down there very long, so I'm just going to, you know, uh, not going to bring any food. But, if you are looking to buy food, of course, the Grand Exchange and everything. Okay, so, to get to the Hill Giants. Alright. I am in the Grand Exchange, as you can see. Alright. My RuneScape is running really slow, so you'll have to... I apologize about that. Okay. So, I'm at the Grand Exchange entrance. When you're at the Grand Exchange entrance... Looking at it from like where I am right now, all right. Go to the left, so like you'd be going to, towards the cooking guild. You'll need to have a brass key when you're going down there, all right. Brass key. Remember that, because that's the only way you can unlock the door to get to the hill giants. Okay. Um. So what you'll do is just go between the cooking guild and this little wheat farm, the little wheat field thing right here alright just keep following this the good thing about it is it's not very far away from the Grand Exchange um, also also if you're trying to level up your prayer which I know prayer is very uh, hard to level up if you're looking to level up prayer uh, killing hill giants is very good because they drop big bones and you can bury big bones for quite a bit of XP I think 12 XP per set of bones which is very good um, for prayer and if you're looking to make some money while so you can sell the big bones to buy more runes all right big bones sell for about 401 gold pieces each set all right so what you want to do is take your brass key unlock the door uh, it's this little shack all right between the barbarian village and the grand exchange what you want to do is climb down this ladder here all right Once you climb down the ladder, you'll get down here, and it'll be a cave, all right? As soon as you get into the cave, you should be able to see a whole bunch of hill giants, all right? What, what you'll do is just walk in here, all right? And they are aggressive, just to let you know. So you can just start attacking the hill giants, all right? So once you start attacking the hill giants, uh, each thing, you get about 51 XP per... Uh, attack like per spell you do so 51 xp per spell is r really really good it varies between 20 and 51 i don't know why that great of range for um spell experience but you know that's just what it does all right so you see all these big bones laying everywhere all right so i'm killing this hill giant all right and hill giant see there's like 48 xp right there Alright, I'm getting some good XP. I was really low, and I've been down here. Killed one hill giant, and look how high my experience went up. It went up a lot. Um, for magic. Alright. So, you can, if you want down here want to make some more money, just pick these up. Um, there are some bones over here. You can hide, actually hide behind the bones. And they can't attack you. I haven't heard, or haven't figured out how to do that yet. Um, I have no idea, like, how they got back there. Oh, you old bastard. Okay, but it doesn't really matter. I'm level like 42, I think. So it doesn't really bother me. I wasn't paying, I was fighting these guys earlier today, and I was talking to one of my friends, and I completely just spaced out and I almost died because I have 350 health points, and I looked and I had like 30 health points. So I like freaked out and went back up the ladder. So, alright, they have really good for just level 28. Hill Giants, they have awesome drops, alright? They have, they drop limp wart roots, uh, sometimes I've seen one drop an adamant, or a, uh, full ruin helmet, so, it's pretty awesome, um, oh, there's some 62 XP, that went higher than I thought I would, okay, so, here you go, this is how to get your magic up and everything, uh, a lot easier, 
than you would normally do by killing the lesser demon or any other way or cows. Uh, who kills cows anymore? I don't know. Okay. But there you are. And I am going to go back up this freaking ladder so I don't die. Um, so, there you are. If you have any questions, uh, comment or send me a message. Um, this has been another successful, besides my horrible lag that I'm having this evening. I don't know why I'm having this lag. I apologize for that. Um, but just blame it on your computer. Yeah. Don't blame it on me. Blame it on your computer because it's all your computer's fault. Um, so yeah. And if anyone has any questions, feel free to comment on this video or message me. I'll probably respond better to a comment because I don't ever check my messages. So yeah. Um, link to um, my Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr profile, all that crap will be in the links below. Um, so yeah, remember, rate, comment, subscribe, and I hope you guys have a great day.